Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some Mount weather and we'll look at the west. We'll take a brief look at the northeast as well. But right now we're going to start up in Canada. Here's Sunshine Village up there in the Banff area reporting a few inches of new snow overnight. Um, and just an absolutely spectacular view up there. The sun shines out. You can see the snow-capped peaks, the Rockies. Um, it looks like the next storm coming in Wednesday night into Thursday, and there may even be one more behind that. Um, so that's sunshine. Let's look at uh, Revelstoke. Again, just an absolutely spectacular view. And you've got new snow coming as well with a couple of storm systems lined up that will come in through the Pacific Northwest and then roll in through the B.C. area. Um, so here's Killington the day after our storm. It's cold. It's in the single digits. They're reporting over a foot of snow from that nor'easter. And, of course, there was a lot of wind as well, but a nice view right there. Next in line is an Alberta clipper for New England. Let me just show you the pattern. So here's the jet, the storm track, carrying all of this storminess and moisture into B.C., and that's what will clip uh, Revelstoke and Sunshine. And then it's basically going to drop down like this. I've got three cold fronts that will pierce this high pressure for the inner mountain west over the next seven days. So what will happen is all of this, let me just change colors, um, all of this moisture, you can see the different ripples in the atmosphere, there's some low pressures in there. It's all going to be carried up in the Pacific Northwest and the little pieces, little um, cold fronts are going to break loose and roll down through Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, Utah, and then into Colorado. So on that eastern periphery of the high, those will pierce it and drop snow. And I'll show you my numbers coming up, but that's the pattern. And a lot of this is just going to roll or sweep fast into the northeast or off the eastern seaboard. So that's where the cold air is really going to be. It's up in the northeast. Um, and there's, there could be a number of storm systems up there over the next probably 7 to 10 days in the northeast. All right, so that's the current state of affairs. Let me show you what uh, the GFS is thinking here. So watch what happens. Some very light snow drops down through Montana. This is the first of three fronts down through Montana, Wyoming, and into Colorado. It's very light. Also, look at the northeast. That's a Alberta clipper heading for the northeast. And this is basically Wednesday morning right here. And then by Thursday, it's all gone out of Colorado. It's moving away. But here's a more important cold front, cold front number two. So Thursday night into Friday, here's Friday morning, the, the cold front drops down through Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, and Utah this time, and then into Colorado. By the time we get into Saturday, it's out of Colorado and sweeping through New Mexico. Um, so let me back up just quickly, uh, just briefly. You can see where this next storm system, we're back Thursday morning right here. It does hit the Pacific Northwest and then moves into Banff, B.C., all those areas getting that snow. That's what I was talking about. You've got at least one storm, and there's probably one more behind it right there. All right, let's move into the future even further. Here's Sunday morning. Um, look at the low off the coast of uh, New England, up the East Coast. We'll see how close that gets, but it does look like it will affect uh, the Northeast with some snow over the weekend. And that moves through Monday morning, another low, another clipper heading for the Northeast. Um, here's the 25th. So between the 24th and the 25th, there might be a third cold front right here, which drops down through Montana, Wyoming, and through Colorado. So another potential light snow right there. And then that moves away, but that one could have some cold air with it. Um, I'm just going to keep going. Here's the 28th. Look at that. Could we have two storms colliding over the northeast on the 29th and 30th? Wow, that'd be big. Um, look at that, 955. Wow. All right, so let's just keep going. End of the month here. Here comes the 1st of February. Here's the 31st. Here's the 1st of February. Finally, things start to turn a little more active across the west. We'll have to see if that holds. But it looks to me like towards the end of the month, and especially once we get into February, I do think things will turn more active for the West. There are a few different indicators that I'm looking at for that. Um, but look at that next storm coming out of the deep south right there by the 1st and 2nd of February. Interesting pattern, very active. All right, here are my totals. We'll do it in two phases. Here is phase number one. Today, all of today through the 21st, and notice this is going to capture two different cold fronts for Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, and Colorado, and at least one front for Utah. So you can see the numbers. Um, some, some of the best numbers will be across the Tetons with two of those fronts, and then into the central to northern mountains of Colorado. Um, and there's some light amounts through the southern mountains in northern New Mexico. Um, and you can see uh, potentially six to eight inches. We'll have to see. This second front that comes through Utah has got a little bit of juice to it. So six to eight inches there. Um, and then you can see the numbers up in BC. That's phase one. 
Um, here's phase number two, 22nd through the 27th. There's another front that comes through. This one's around the 24th, 25th through Montana, Wyoming, and into Colorado. And you can see the amounts um, tends to favor Colorado and northern New Mexico because of the way it comes through and kind of strengthens. Um, but those are my numbers at this point. Um, all the way through the 27th. And like I was saying, I think things will turn more active towards the end of the month into February for the West. We just have to get rid of this high pressure. So there you go. Enjoy it. Take care. Thank you for tuning in here.